Guys, it's Winston here again. Today I want to talk to you a little more about the present moment. Uh, how can you be present all the time if you follow certain guidelines? I know thoughts will take you because when a thought comes to your mind, what is what's happening is your emotion get attached to your thought. So if the thought is good, then you're going to have a beautiful life, happy, cheerful life. But if your thought is negative, unhappy, fearful, anxious, you start suffering, am I right? So you need to make sure what kind of thought you're entertaining. But if you are a person who always live unconsciously, that means you're not in, you never live in the conscious world, uh, you, you're thinking uh, always, always 24 hours, your mind is going on and on and on, then you're actually living in an unconscious world, not in the conscious world. So for you, it takes some time to come to the present moment. But at the same time, Keep in mind, it's your mind, it's your body. Doesn't matter what anyone says, you can control your feelings, you can control your emotions, you can control your thoughts. First of all, you should learn how to sit in one place, at least for half an hour, and see whether you can sit without moving your body. If you know how to sit quietly, peacefully, that means the first, you're past the first stage. The second stage is, Learning to bring your thoughts, uh, bring your, when I, what I mean is learning to control your thoughts. Thoughts will take you every direction, left, right, up, down. But keep in mind, you need to bring it back under your control. So always advise people to sit in front of a wall, a plain wall. That means you don't see anything, just the wall. That's all you have to do. Sit in front of the wall and learn to meditate in the sense Focus on the wall, you're not thinking anything else. Thoughts will come, it will bombard you with so many thoughts because 20 to 30,000 30, 30, thoughts will come to you every single day. So when you're sitting there, there's more thoughts are going to, just like a fountain is going to come. Just ignore them, let it come and let it go. But you need to just focus on the wall. Then as what I said to you previously in the previous video, if you can keep a clock next to you, the clock ticking and that means uh, your sensory uh, factors are working so visually you're looking at the wall and auditory you're look you're listening to the sound so that's all you need but if you're a kinesthetic person more with feelings just listen to your breath watch your breath coming and going out so that's the best way of doing it so for me I'm a more uh, visual and auditory so I just look at the wall and listen to the sound so there are a lot of a lot of my friends are very kinesthetic you know you can just they just you can focus your attention on the feelings inside your body as well especially the breathing and the, and the air comes in and you just see, focus your attention on the breath and when it goes out and then you just focus and then you just calm yourself so if you start focusing on the inhale <coughs> exhale you know you can bring your attention <coughs> sorry you can bring your mind under your control <coughs> do the 10 to 15 minutes and also keep in mind <coughs> um, the soul uh, body and the spirit because when your soul is too much attached to your body What happens? You always suffer more because if you're a negative person if you always feel oh this only happens to me that kind of feeling Oh, no, no, I have no friends uh, People always talk bad about me if you start thinking those things and then what happens is that you you will start to ponder in it and become more depressive so but if your soul is attached to the spirit um, you're going to be a very different person. You're going to be happy and cheerful all the time because spirit is always pure. And when your soul is, rather than going to the body, is going to the spirit, you'll have a beautiful life because you're always, um, you know, like in the present moment because presence makes you a healthy person. You can look, you look healthy, more cheerful and more successful in life as well. So learn the art of living in the present moment. Make sure your soul is connected to the spirit and not to the body. And when you start doing it um, everything will be under your control and you can achieve your goals your wildest dreams everything will be within your reach and that's what I said to you uh, perfect practice makes you perfect perfect practice makes you really perfect and um, keep in mind uh, have a goal in mind and based on the goal work and do achieve whatever you want to achieve in your life in the meantime have a beautiful day